You're on. Hi. <laughs> um, hi, everybody. We're at the mid-year meeting in San Antonio that you, the chapter, sent us to with the help of National. And we are here with Andrea and John from Central Florida chapter. And uh, we have been kind of chatting on and off all week about a number of things. But what I want to share with the chapter is in the few conversations that we've had here today um, about the merger, which we'll talk about, we learn more about the hows, whys, what's, whens of a potential merger for the state in the afternoon than we have on the last six conference calls that we've done independent of each other. So I was just really pleased with the value and I wanted to kind of find out what you guys thought about it too. Go ahead, John. I think the, the main value that you get from coming to these is to hear the personal stories from all over the country. Take those personal stories and bring them back to how they relate to us and what we're going to be going through in Florida. The, the time we have together on a tableside conversation, the time we have together in a hallway to talk about this, uh, the time we have together at dinner to talk about this, all in a casual atmosphere but with very serious conversation points. You can't get that on a conference call no matter how hard we try and how well we do it. You can't even really get that when the same group keeps coming together over and over again to discuss it. You need outside, very intelligent, uh, very thoughtful, very passionate uh, consideration that's, that you get from coming to this type of, a, of, a, of an organizational trip. It just helps really clear up and actually, you know what it kind of does? It kind of makes us put into perspective that we're not as big as we think we are exactly. as far as our problems go. Exactly. We're not as big as the issues aren't that big. Some of it really truly is small stuff. We need to start treating it as small stuff, start moving quicker, more expeditiously towards a decision, whatever that might be, and be comfortable and confident we make it and then go with it. Well, and quite frankly, before I came here, I mean, we've never really had the opportunity to be face to face. So when I was on conference calls listening to this information, I am hearing your perceptions not knowing you from a hole in the wall, and I'm like, well, I don't like that. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And I just kind of put a wall up. Now that we've had a chance to talk, and I've kind of gotten a chance to like you as a person and learn a little bit more about you, I think that I became a little bit more open to your your perceptions, which, I mean, I told you earlier, you've changed my mind on a few things, and that can only come from this. Without a doubt. I know that on um, our conference calls, um, there are times when nobody can see me rolling my eyes, and uh, that <laughs> and may be important. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it may be important for the moment. The point is that there is an interaction, and like John said and like Ellen said, there is so much more that you learn through the nuances of being together right. physically, and being able to talk face to face, that you cannot get over any telephone. Absolutely. Even if we tried to Skype or well, something, that because would be apparently, impossible. When you're sitting face to face with somebody, you can't be answering your emails over to the side Correct. without totally being called out for it. So, and, so I just want to thank you guys for taking the time this week to talk with us, and hopefully it, it helped you with your, your chapter stuff too. But understand the value of what we're doing here and why it helps the chapter. Can you share like one great moment from this from these past three days? Whatever your favorite session, whatever. I liked it when she fell in the river. <laughs> you fell in the you fell in the river? Oh. No, I swam in the river in honor of the Olympics. Um, what was your favorite moment? Sorry. Um, my my favorite session, and I, I knew it was you know part of this, and that was I was really looking forward to it. Um, was the session on how to bring your governments together because you know we look at a map that's just topography and there are no lines drawn for counties and cities um, so but if you work in, for the government you see those lines all the time right. so it's been hard to try and break down those barriers and the session on how to do that was um, invaluable it was just it, it not only did it Help me understand that I'm not alone in my thinking that I was on the right path, right. but it gave me concrete steps to take and, and literal ways to do it and get right. it done. So it was excellent. Plus, play it yeah, right. excellent. Great. And you? Mine was the Green Apple Day of Service. Learning more about it. Before I arrived here, yeah. we have dedicated towns and people in our chapter that are doing that for us. And as chair, I was kind of like, go ahead and do it, have fun with it. I paid no attention to it. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, 20 minutes after I saw the little three-minute video that our national organization has produced, and after meeting some of the directors and meeting the volunteers that are here for the great schools, I'm a convert. I'm, I am all in, 100% on the Green Apple Day of Service. My sister is a second-grade school teacher from the inner city school. 
I thought I had the bright idea of saying, Rebecca, I need you to be involved in this. I Facebooked her. I did everything I could to get her all the information. I tell Andrea about it. It's already a school that's on her list that will be doing a degree wow. network of service. That's wow. how out of touch I was with it. Bringing my personal vision into a clearer focus by being here was beyond what words can do. I can't, can't describe it. Uh, my my moment, and it's the moment, it's the same moment every single time I go to one of these events, is when I connect with a person that I've never met before in another part of the country that we didn't think we had anything in common with, and we sit down at a table, and we say, oh my gosh, we're having the same sac the same issue in, in my chapter as your, here's one of the ways we solved it. Oh my gosh, I just had coffee with you for 10 minutes. And you've solved the problem that I've been trying to figure out on the home front for a year. And it happens every single time mm -hmm. I come here. So that is, it's always my, my magic moment. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sarah? I'm good. All right. Sarah's <laughs> going to tell you all about hers later. But thank you for listening to us. And we'll be home soon. <laughs> Thanks.